This is the Salt Lake Wildlife Management Area. We're going to take the White Trail through Pine Flatwoods and some uh, marsh areas. And it's a 4.1 mile hike. It's in between Salt Lake and South Lake. So come join us. Now let's take a look at the map and uh, trace the trail that we're going to be going on. And we are right here. And what we're gonna be doing is walking, we're gonna actually be walking through here some freshwater uh, swamp areas and then head back 4.1 miles. This path begins with a line of sable palms, and live oaks, lots of draping Spanish moss, Now the name of this road is Powerline Road. It is uh, cycling and hiking only, except during uh, hunting season, which I believe is in the fall. Nice view of this moss, bottom of these palm trees. This is our first view of some freshwater swamps. Now uh, beyond in the distance is a large patch of uh, palmetto. several uh, acres of palmetto. And before us, we're entering a uh, flatwood pine area. And uh, these I believe would be slash pine, they could be longleaf pine, they kind of intersect at this part of the uh, state. So I expect to see a lot of pine and palmetto coming forward here. And it's uh, a lot of uh, gallberry interspersed with the uh, saw palmetto. That's a close up of the gallberry. So uh, that makes up a lot of this habitat. And the path has um, come upon a uh, new growth of uh, live oak and scrub oak. And perhaps more will um, we'll continue into, it looks like a denser part of the forest. And a uh, little bit of a swamp in the middle of the path. So I gotta figure out the, uh, oh shoot. Uh, oh man, I think I'm gonna have to take my shoes off for this one. I'm gonna take the narrowest but deepest section and go in shoeless, so yeah. Alright, let's get through this muck. Let's hope it's not knee deep. Which I don't think it is. No, it's not too bad. Alright, and we're across. Shoes back on. And uh, we'll see if we continue to see the, the white uh, marked trail. Then we'll know we're right pretty soon.
marshy terrains on the uh, sides of the road. Our path uh, continued to make it a little challenging to cross at times, but usually there's a higher dry ground to pass on even if half the path is uh, flooded. And I'm just going to show an example of how quickly the wilderness uh, restores itself after a burn. So these would have been burned all the way down to the uh, root, down to the bottom foot. But uh, probably within weeks or months, probably weeks, it's growing back. Salt palmetto is extremely hardy. Even if they were burned underground, they would still rise back up. Come back just like this guy right here. So a large uh, stretch here was burned. You notice the sand is a little bit whiter here too. Probably remnants of the ancient beach that uh, used to be out here. This is uh, some of the dunes from thousands of years ago, maybe the Ice Age era. And it's just a wide area of gallberry uh, scrub with some palmetto. A few scattered pines. Just um, typical scrub habitat in Florida. It looks like we're about to re-enter the Pine Flatwoods area that stretches south to north and we entered on the uh, northern side of the stretch and of course it's dispersed with the scrub and always neat to see these sideways palm trees change in direction may have been knocked down by a hurricane and uh, and then it shoots up and it's not going to stop stopping We've been in and out of scrub, pine flatwoods, back and forth, and uh, including some uh, very small oak um, habitats. And we're entering another such place right now, and these are larger oaks here. Okay, we had a uh, rocket launch, and you don't hear it till it's all the way up in the air. That's the rocket. If I zoom in right now, that's the rocket. So even though we're out in nature, we're really only 10 miles from the JFK Space Center. This is a beautiful area of pine flatwood. And here's a, uh, a little marsh freshwater marsh. Luckily it's on the side of the road, not in the middle of the road. And some uh, more spectacular views of these pine flatwoods. I'm heading north so the sun is behind me for the first time today. It's more uh, freshwater marsh.
wildflowers are just starting to pop open this time of year. I uh, just missed it, an alligator crossed from the right side here and splashed right into the left side of this uh, marsh. I wish I would have had him running across the road. Um, it looked to be like a six footer, but he uh, splashed right into here. I don't know if we could see him. No, I don't see him, but uh, he's in this area right here. So, oh, that was uh, pretty awesome. All right, another uh, flooded area. Um, I'm getting so close to the end, too. The right side is, oh, God. Uh, I, I guess I'm going to have to walk right through the middle, shoes off. Okay, so I don't have a choice uh, but to uh, cross through and now I have the added alligator thread which uh, I think they're small enough. Uh, it's only up to my uh, shins. And uh, you gotta worry about snakes too. Water's a little cold, because it's February. And I don't know if there's anything else in here, like leeches or whatever else to be concerned about. Halfway through, it hasn't gotten up to my knees. All right, we made it. Shoes back on. So, looks like we're out of the marsh for good. And that was the biggest, biggest one I had to go through. Uh, so, we got uh, pine flatwoods again. In fact, uh, burnt areas. Likely a controlled burn. You see the trees are blackened there. Everything in the vicinity is all browned out, blackened out. But it um, recreates the scrub habitat, which is good for many of the birds and other species that live in this type of uh, habitat. Well, what do you know? There's another one. I'm positive this is the last one. Shoes off. And let's wade. At least I can see the bottom of this one. It's only up to my ankles. Um, and the rocks do hurt. <laughs> All right, made it. Son of a gun. All right, my shoe fell in the water. Okay. Final stretch. And this is indeed the home stretch. Parking lot is up ahead. Less than half a mile away. If you enjoyed, uh, this uh, hike with us through these pine flatwoods and marshes and scrub habitats. Almost, uh, I, was, I saw a gator, I wasn't able to share it with you guys. But if you like it, please uh, click like and uh, subscribe to my channel and we will see you on our next adventure.